everyone, I'm Jen Woodhouse and this is Evie. And today we're bringing the Home Depot Kids Workshop experience directly to you at home. For a limited time only, these kid workshop kits are available online at homedepot.com. This particular kit comes with an apron, a pin, and a certificate of achievement. So what are we going to be building today, Evie? I think we should build a tool bench. Awesome. We're going to need a few things. First, we're going to need a workspace. Okay, so... Whoa! <laughs> okay, now we need the kids kit. Okay. Whoa! Okay, these aren't the right glasses. Okay, that's more like it. Awesome! Look at you! I think we're gonna need some tools, so can you get us a hammer? Let me see. Uh... Whoa, uh, this is uh, what we need. Yeah, that's a bit big. <laughs> we need a hammer. Yes, that's what we need. Okay, let's get started. In this kid's workshop kit, we've got four legs, two braces, one bench top, one backboard, and one sticker sheet. They've also supplied some short, medium, and long nails. As for tools, we're gonna need a hammer, some wood glue, and a pair of safety glasses, of course. You might also wanna grab some fine sandpaper if the wood pieces are rough. If you wanna paint your project, you'll need some acrylic craft paint and a paintbrush. Okay, before we start building, we're gonna sort out the nails. Let's see, there are four short nails, two medium nails, and four long nails. Okay, first we're gonna build the legs. You're gonna lay two of the legs down with the grooves on top, and we'll put some glue right in here. Do I just okay. put it on? Yeah. Now place one of the braces into the grooves. Okay, we're gonna make sure that the <laughs> sides are even, and then use two of the short nails, and then nail the piece together. Okay, go for it. Okay, we're gonna repeat this to make the other set of legs. Okay, next, now that we've got that done, we're gonna take the bench top and we're gonna lightly tap in four of the long nails. Just start them, don't tap it in all the way just yet. Now we're gonna stand up the the legs. Okay, look, the brace has got to be facing out and close to the bottom, and then we're going to add some glue right to the top of the legs, and then we're going to lay the bench top in place. <laughs> Hang on. All right. Okay, next step, we're going to lay the tool bench down with the three big holes facing up. So we'll go like that. Okay, we're gonna add a thin line of glue to the top edge of the bench top, and then place the backboard on top. Let's see, we'll go this way. Now we're gonna nail it in place with the two medium nails. And finally, we're gonna add the sticker to the backboard and then load up your little tool bench with tiny tools. Now, if you're painting your project, you might want to paint first and then wait for the paint to dry before placing the sticker on. If you don't have this kit, try to find things around your house like popsicle sticks, maybe some cardboard or construction paper. Feel free to get creative with your kids and make something fun together. The Home Depot has partnered with Discovery Education to create workshop extension activities that go along with these workshop kits. You can take this tool bench to the next level by adding extra compartments to it using materials that you might have at home. Visit sciencefaircentral.com for more project ideas and hands-on steam-powered activities that you can do with your kids at home. We found this disposable container and then we're going to super glue it to the back for added storage. My little girl loves to paint so she uses her tool bench to hold her paint brushes. She can store her paint colors in the container, then take them out and fill the container with water when she's ready to create her masterpiece. Super cute, right? Thanks, that was a super fun project. This is your certificate, and here's your pin. You want me to pin you? Here you go. Cool. That's cool. So for more videos and instructions on this project and others, visit the website linked below. Thanks so much for watching. We can't wait to see what you build with your kids.